Good day everyone and welcome to Lunken Plays Minecraft. So today I decided that we're going to get some work done. I think I want to start getting uh, getting a bed ready. I'm getting tired of waiting inside. So we're going to need wool. I really don't want to kill these sheep but uh, I don't think I have any shears. Let me see if I could create some shears quickly. Uh, but I don't know if I have enough iron ingots for that. I did make these tools. Um, give me one second. Oh wow, perfect. Got two iron ingots. And got some shears. Great. So, um, going to get some wool. great that I have sheep and cows and everything right in my front yard makes life so much easier for me uh, later on I will be creating a sheep and uh, cow and maybe even pig farm it just makes life easier and uh, that way I could start making some colored wool and we could start doing some nice decorations so for today's episode I think I want to make a proper home house whatever uh, that's the only thing I have planned besides that maybe we'll do a bit more exploration on the mine that we started and uh, I then we'll see what we can do from there so well, I already have some wood so let me quickly make up a bed And for the lack of space, let's just put it here for now. There. Ooh, fancy. Okay, and wow, great timing. It's night now. So let's block up the walls and get it day. And it's day again. That was really fast. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm not going to carry all this stuff around, it's just not a smart thing to do. I will need more torches, Let me get some sticks as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get on making the house. So f my first thing was I want to kind of uh, cut down some of these trees. Um, they actually look really good. It's just a little bit too unorganized for me. Uh, I have a little bit of OCD and I need everything to look exactly the way I want. So I think I'm just gonna clear this up. Um, I decided I'm gonna use this little cave that I made as my main home area. So I'm just going to clear up the front and make everything look a little bit better. I will be planting more trees and uh, setting up a little bit of a tree, tree farm as well uh, after these saplings start falling. Um, I really like these jungle trees. They have a ton of wood. Uh, when we first started playing Minecraft this would have been an amazing way my tree farms would be so much smaller just plant a couple of these big boys there and everything would be great uh, on the other hand though it's much more harder to uh, cut down these trees it takes much longer and you're too short to actually get anything done so I will have to go down to the mine again because I need to get some more materials especially iron uh, because my tools are wearing down and I'm, I don't think I have any additional pairs but I think that's good for now um, I think I need a shovel as well it's a lot of dirt I need to move so I have this iron ore I'm gonna place it in here Uh, 
feels like a waste. So with the trees that I cut down, I think I'm going to use that as the material from my most of my house. Uh, and uh, the way I was thinking is I want to make the house kind of come out a bit around here and and the rest will be built into the this hill this I don't think it's a mountain it's a hill um, so yeah right into it and I like building my houses as I said before inside or underground it just feels more uh, protected almost like a fortress so that's definitely the technique I'll be doing uh, but I'm going to go down just for a bit to find some more materials uh, for tools. So last time I stumbled upon this uh, nice looking cave and it looks pretty promising too. There's a massive rift. So uh, yeah, and right in the front too. So. I think we'll be able to make some good use of that. Oh, and I remember that gold being there too. Um, the only thing is that that's a big fall and I'm pretty sure I won't make that. So uh, let's see if I could... If I could survive this. Oh man, uh, that looks good. There. So nothing more than that here. I'm just gonna get that gold. I didn't really ever find the value of gold in Minecraft. I mean, yeah, the shiny and everything, but Besides that, I haven't seen them used for anything. Um, diamonds definitely are much stronger, a stronger material. So for building stuff, it's great. And other things such as emeralds and so on um, can be used as currency. So there isn't really a need for gold in my opinion. But it, again, does look really good when you make something out of gold. So. You know, it's not like I'm asking for it to be taken away. Uh, but it's not something I would go looking for. It's something I would find while I'm looking for something like diamond or coal or iron. Iron is actually one of my favorite materials in Minecraft. Probably only second to diamonds. But who doesn't like diamonds, so... Wow, this is a massive cave. Uh, let me try to plug this... There. I hope I don't get lost. It just seems to go on forever. Um, I will most likely make use of these tunnels. It's... I, I don't like digging or um, using a lot of like carving out the side of a mountain trying to make like living area I like kind of going with the flow and um, making use of what's already there so the, I will probably convert these uh, cave systems to later on into part of my house or as I like to call it the man cave So I'm finding tons of coal, which is something I love. And oh, there's iron. Okay. You know what? I just realized I didn't get the gold because I'm using a stone pickaxe, I think. No, iron? Stone. Oh, I thought this was an iron pickaxe for a second. Well, yeah, that was really stupid of me. But since I was ranting about gold being 
not too useful it's okay <laughs> there's no need in crying over something you can get on the other hand I did just run out of uh, torches so oh, thank god I have some sticks with me I didn't realize I would be going through this much tunnels okay found some a bit more coal I don't know if I'm gonna hang around here for any longer because it's getting a bit uh, difficult to find anything useful so far I'm I don't think we're that deep so uh, let me actually check um, yeah so we're not really that deep right now so we're not really that deep uh, well we're actually pretty deep but not deep enough to find diamonds I think so uh, we're gonna go down a bit more later I do eventually want to get some good diamond tools but uh, for now I think we're in good standing here let me try to figure out how to get back up without falling into the lava <laughs> sometimes you make a mistake and then in order to correct that mistake you do so much worse and that was what you saw right there let me see I'm gonna make make a little staircase type thing because I do want to come back here there's there are some good tunnel systems it's just today's plan is mainly to work on the house and the reason I came down here is purely to get some uh, to get some iron and um, to make some tools so I think this is good enough for now I only found two blocks which is not a lot but it's good enough for uh, a good shovel in minecraft I found that uh, a shovel and pickaxe is mainly the tools that you need for anything uh, everything else is just uh, makes makes life easier but it's not something mandatory mainly because a pickaxe can take down everything but uh, it's a waste it's a waste of a pickaxe to use it on like something like sand or uh, dirt so that's why I think you're just better off with uh, normal tools for uh, getting a good pickaxe would be better than anything else um, you know what while I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and find some sand is it night now yep it's night I haven't seen any bad mobs yet maybe it's because I lit everything up uh, but that's fine wow, that. let me make some of the tools I needed uh, so sticks I seem to keep on grabbing small stacks of things I should probably do some organizing later on so let's make a shovel of iron and a pickaxe as I've stated those are the two of my favorite tools and uh, I'll hold on to the other ones too I'm, I'm, I, I don't like uh, putting away worn tools back into um, a chest because it just it's just setting you up for disaster later on when you really need a tool it's better to keep uh, track of what, which ones you use and oh I already had a pickaxe too, so that's fine this one's gonna run out soon and uh, when it does I'll be ready so let's get out there and see what's going on hmm I expected some creepers out here or zombies or anything but there, there's a big chance that somebody could fall from up there so uh, let's start by sleeping it's better safe than sorry so let's take a quick nap all right let's see okay so uh, let's start digging up the side uh, I was thinking oh wow what was that 
Oh, baby. They're so fast, these little buggers. Ah, three hearts. I totally forgot to look around <laughs> before I came out. And didn't even see what was going on until it was too late because they're so short now. Um, but... But yeah, that was <laughs> really creepy for a second. I took a big damage while I was doing it. Me eat some food. I think, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm getting, I'm not that good at keeping track of my food bar. I never had to in all the Minecraft games, so I'm not used to it. But it's definitely something, and I'm gonna have to learn if I want to survive. So, like I said earlier, look, uh, dirt and sand. It's, I feel like it's such a waste to use uh, a pickaxe. Maybe later on if you have so much that it, um, you find no use for it, then you can go ahead and do it. But uh, right now it's such a waste because a shovel of the same power can do so much better. Especially if you're not enchanting right now. So uh, let me take care of these. And I had to kind of get try to get this done before night. So uh, the I was thinking of using so I was thinking of using uh, oh this that was close oh my bed the creeper took my bed that's sad oh man that was close where are these I think they're coming from up there I got to light up up there before tonight that's fine I was gonna dig in the ground anyway so as I was saying I wanted to use cobblestone uh, for the floor and use wood since I have a bunch of it now as the, for the sides and I think it would be an okay design for now uh, as time passes I'm gonna improve on it obviously this is on the second day of Minecraft the house shouldn't be a big priority it's just something I like to have uh, as a stand starting place so let's see and I should have a bunch of cobblestone and there's nothing uh, nothing else you could do with it right now besides making stone maybe but we got a bunch of stone around so it doesn't matter okay so all right that pickaxe just died on me that's fine uh, another thing you're gonna learn really fast about me is that I, <laughs> my little OCDness, is gonna get to the best of me, and I need to make everything really perfect, or it's gonna bug me. So you'll find that I'm, I'll be uh, correcting a lot of tiny little mistakes that you probably won't find to be much of a problem, but for me it's gonna be yelling at me, like right there. You and I both know I'm, you can't see that, but I can't live with it if it's there. And I know these two are sitting on two as well, but I'll take care of that just in a bit. Because I want to be ready for the night. So let me get all the wood I have right now. Hopefully it's a bit more than I thought I had. Oh, there, 64. I didn't see that. So... Um, I hope I did that right. Yeah, I did. It's really dark for a second. I, I can't see that well. So I'm going to be making it out of dark wood, I guess. Um, it has a nice mocha look to it. And... Yeah, door going there is fine. Yeah. I think of it like a real house where like you need a foundation and so I build it in that way. Uh, I normally build like I put stone on uh, cob cobblestone underneath the building to give it that really nice looking look. 
uh, but I want to make this house blend into the mountain side as well so I'm gonna be keeping this side much more shorter than the other side just a single block higher to make it look like it's there there this tree I don't know if I want to cut it down yet let me see I may just cut down the two blocks that are bothering me so I was thinking since we're two blocks tall the door will be two uh, three uh, the the I'm making it just so we could go right above the roof will be just above the head and then it'll rise as it goes towards the back I need more wood and since I wasn't too sure about this wall anyway I'm gonna cut it down um, Sometimes my OCD gets to me, especially with trees that have like random blocks hanging around. And I need to get rid of all of them. Let me see. Alright, let me convert that too. So I have a bunch of these blocks now. Ah oh, man. I keep doing double space to try to fly because in my server I, I, I do a lot of flying related stuff but here it's kind of useless so I am thinking that this is gonna be the total height of that area and then this will get a tiny bit taller here and yeah and that'll be the roof height yeah that looks about right let me push this back just a little bit all right that looks good so now it's just for finishing this part off I will have to light up up there too because um, just through my shears. I will have to light light up the roof because I'm going to be in constant fear of creepers and baby zombies and all that stuff falling on top of me every time I step out. Um, oh, it's getting dark. Okay, switch to torches. I'm gonna find some better way of lighting later on. For now, I'm just trying to get the house completed. So let me just take a look. Looks a little boxy. Okay, let me try to bend this inward. I'm trying to get some curves in Minecraft. Not really a easy thing to do in a game that's designed to be square oh that looks better I'll do the same on the other side thanks to my OCD there that looks great and and I'm gonna have to take care of this cobblestone here I'll replace it with dirt. Cobblestone and dirt are going to be two of the blocks that I'm going to be using a lot for filling and all that stuff. Uh, because those are blocks that you're going to get an abundance of in your building. So it's getting dark. I'm going to close up my door. Uh, that was really messy okay and it's a bit too dark in here too so while I'm waiting 
I am going to do some interior decoration because I can. Um, when it becomes daytime again, I'm going to go outside, find some sand and start making some glass because I like having those open, open uh, lighting. And that way you can kind of see outside, see if there's any mobs and so on. Now uh, I'm pretty sure so many people are going to be complaining saying why are you putting so much time and effort into a house when you know you could be doing so much more I mean this is just like the second night or so on but my I don't really have a proper answer for that my, my answer will be the fact that this is this will have to be done eventually this is not something like um, I'm gonna like it's gonna get done eventually I might as well do it now and get it right the first time or I just get in the shape that I have in my head because it's it's uh, it's just gonna be a waste of more time and later on if I wait And got those two blocks as I mentioned that I would so since this part is inside the wall I wanted to make this part made of cobblestone oh this part is exposed I guess it's gonna have to be made of wood then this side I'm gonna deal with that wall in just a bit I want to make sure I'm ready for any creepers or any type of attack uh, my biggest fear is that something, uh, especially a creeper, is going to come and start blowing up my uh, stuff here. We can't afford to lose anything right now at this stage. Uh, so, another thing, lighting. Uh, I, I sometimes forget to light up stuff because I play on very bright settings. And bright settings have benefits and downsides. Um, so for now, put this here, crafting table in the middle, and yeah, I'll break it. And the chest will go here. For now I'm going to put everything in. Later on, another thing I'm going to have to make is a good storage area. While I'm at it, I think I should make another bed because that creeper took my last one. So quickly whip up another bed. And okay. Should I make a bedroom? I think this is big enough that I don't really need a bedroom I'll just put the bed here my bad um, yeah I'm thinking like living area working area all right I guess I will make a bedroom why not it's not like somebody else is gonna be using this space so it doesn't have to be big um, Just has to look good. <laughs> I know I'm getting some rants right now uh, about how things shouldn't have to look good, but um, that's how I want to play it. So let's see. Bed will go here in the corner. For now, it's gonna look like a tomb. Later on, I'll do some nice decorations, put some flowers out there, and so on. Running low on torches, too. There, nice lighting. Oh, that's so annoying.
So I decided to make this give some contrast to this part and making the floor out of wood. Hope the bed floats. Yeah, it does. We can call this call this a new style or not. It's up to you. Oh yeah, that looks like a tube now. Very nice. Yep. I think I like it like that for now. Uh, that's gonna go eventually. And the walls and the roof, the rest of it, I'll take care of it. Um, I like kind of having some areas looking natural and like stone like it gives that really nice uh, effect still night it feels like the nights are going s slower than the days are so let's make use of that new bedroom Um, decorations come after. That's not something of priority. I just needed something nice to uh, start off with. I'm gonna need some doors and I need some uh, sand to make glass for the house. Let's get that ready. Oh yeah, you can't stack doors. So, there. I don't like carrying around a lot of valuable stuff, but Oh man, it's on. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make some stone. Uh, not. I need it for some decoration thing, so I'll let that go. And I'm gonna head out and try to find some sand. Uh, there's some here. I don't wanna disturb that right now. I wanna try to keep the look of nature around. I believe where I spawned, there was a lot of sand, right? Like just over this hill. Yep, there it is to look around I keep forgetting to look around there's these mobs and stuff and I don't think I could survive I'm almost out of food oh thank god he's underneath okay this will be my sand what do you call it sandbox sure I'll call it sandbox until it runs out of all the sand because I keep taking a lot uh, but yeah I can't wait to get some diamond tools. It would make life so much easier. Oh, he's like actively trying to shoot me, isn't he? Well, that's fine. So, um, let me go through and do this for now. Wow, it looks so much darker than I remember. Okay, a few more torches here and there for now. I really don't want to walk in on mobs. Okay, so got eight stone. Okay, I'm gonna put some sand in there. Yeah, and let the, that go. I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, I'm going to continued working on this in the next episode so please remember as usual to like this video subscribe to our channel check out our other videos and share with your friends so guys until next time peace